The Promised Neverland season one in one minute. Emma lives in an orphanage with Norman and Sasuke. I mean Sasuke, I mean Ray. They spend their days being cute and looking after their siblings. They're not like in charge though, this lady is Isabella. They call her mom, that's weird. They also take tests and have numbers on their necks, but don't worry about it, this is a cute show, there's nothing wrong. Connie gets adopted and is so emotional she leaves her stuffy behind. Emma and Norman try to get it to her, but they find Connie's dead body and discover the orphanage is really a meat farm for giant demons. The two decide they're gonna break everyone out. First step is to scale this big ass wall. Ray tells the two they've been sussed and they let him in on the plan. Then they find out they have trackers in their ears. Isabella brings additional security in the form of Sister Crone, who really wants to sabotage Isabella. Long story short, it doesn't work out for her. Ray reveals he's been a mole for Isabella, but is also acting as a double agent to get info on her plans. Norman and Emma try to see what's over the wall, but Isabella catches them, breaks Emma's leg, and tells Norman he's getting shipped off tomorrow. Norman stages an escape, but returns and says that there's a pit separating the wall from the outside world, so they gotta deal with that. He's shipped out the next day. Two months later, Emma and Ray make their move, involving Ray torching the house and pretending he's in the blaze. Emma then chops her ear off and breaks everyone but the youngest out. Isabella catches up in time to reveal she's Ray's actual real mom before letting the kids go as they zipline into the unknown. What a great start. It's a shame they never made a second season of the anime, so you'll just have to read the manga after watching.